Hi, my name is John Hogan. I'm the ASD Outreach Team Leader. My name is Lillian Odim. I represent the Greenwich Parents Participation Forum. An autistic child or young person can experience difficulties with recognising why interacting with others might be rewarding, reading other people, and understanding the feelings of themselves or others, understanding the impact of their words or actions on others, and accommodating the needs or wishes of others. An autistic child or young person may require some support because they find it hard to share friends or struggle understanding and managing humour. So they might make inappropriate jokes or not understand positive or humorous intent from others. They might not have a social filter and so say things that could offend other, other people, even when it wasn't the intention. An autistic child may require additional support because they do not know how to start an interaction with another person or find it difficult to share attention or objects they might want to control a group activity. Interactions may be limited to the child's special interests and they might find it difficult to adapt what they do with other people. Some children find it hard to manage unstructured or unexpected settings. For example, understanding that accidents happen in the playground and it was not the intention of the, another person to hurt them. When incidents happen, they might find it hard to let go and move on. Children with autism can become preoccupied with another person and this attention might prove unwelcome. An autistic child or young person may require lots of support because they do not want to acknowledge people around them, including when these people might be trying to talk to them. They might not want other people around and walk off if others try to join them. They might not use appropriate or adaptive strategies if interaction is wanted. For example, they might hit another child or might hug an adult who is not known to them. Adults can engage a child in play activities to promote joint attention, interact through preferred physical activity, practical activities like traveling, going to the park, looking after plants and flowers can enhance their interaction, show interest and affection in ways that they understand and like, use positive reinforcement and light praise for good transitions. Don't take things personal if their actions are blunt. Explore group activities like drama, sport, music, just like their peers. This encourages the children to copy and use that as a learning mechanism while exploring practical and group opportunities. Remember their needs. For example, if they have been in school all day and say that they don't want to have friends, understand that this might be because friends do not do what they want to do and they are not gaining pleasure from being with other children. Focus more on the child's interests and even encourage clubs around this interest. Finding autistic friendly places, cinema, soft play area, library sessions, these would also help in building interactions. Give children ASD awareness cards that explain that I don't mean to come across as rude, I just find social communication difficult, or I get overwhelmed when too many people are talking and have to leave the room. Working directly with parents and local partnership services, we're creating a series of videos to help and advise families who have an autistic child. In this series, we'll cover everything from how to speak with young people to dealing with everyday situations like dinner time or traveling. We'll give you tips and tricks that parents and professionals have learned through their own experiences and also teach you a little bit about what autism may mean for your child or young person. A very special thank you goes to the Greenwich Parent Care Participation Forum, who were instrumental in co-producing this series alongside professional services.